today I'm gonna to see if humor can actually be a hidden cure to real mental illness. Wait a minute, is it possible I'm kind of a doctor myself and just didn't know it? This is the Range Rover Sport Autobiography Supercharged. I don't know what a supercharged autobiography is, but it probably looks like this. David, hey. how's it going, man? Great to see you. Good to see you as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've got that's, muscle. That's right. Just like the driver. Yeah, wow. <laughs> David Grenier is an award-winning counselor, stand-up comic, and founder of the Stand Up For Mental Health organization. Tell me what it is that you do. I sound like your mother, probably. What the hell do you do? Yeah, you sound like my mother. So I'm a stand-up comic, I'm a counselor, and I created and run this program called Stand Up For Mental Health. Stand Up For Mental Health. Stand Up For Mental Health, where I teach people with mental health conditions, like my own, how to do stand-up comedy as a way of building confidence and fighting public stigma. And since 2004, I've run the program in over 40 cities in Canada, the US, and Australia. Like, what made you decide to connect mental health with stand-up comedy. Like stand-up comedy is not easy. No, it's really hard. I've been teaching a stand-up comedy course at Langara College here in Vancouver. Right. But what I would see is people come through the course and they would have these life-changing experiences by doing stand-up comedy. Okay. I remember one woman told me she had a fear of flying and the day after our showcase she had to get on a plane and she said, my fear was gone. I felt like once I'd done comedy I could do anything. <laughs> Because it's terrifying. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and so I thought, wow, well, if it does that for her, wouldn't it be great to put it in a package that could actually help people? And since I have a mental health condition, it just seemed like a perfect place to start. People say that laughter is the best medicine, but I mean, when it comes to mental health, especially, isn't medicine the best medicine? <laughs> Spontaneous laugh as we practiced it. Where's the uh, eject button? <laughs> Is there an eject button in this thing? You know, it's interesting because medication, it's sort of a controversial one. There are people who say, you know, you absolutely shouldn't take meds. I myself, I'm on medication. It's really helped me. Uh, is laughter the best medicine? It's a great form of medicine. It doesn't replace other forms of treatment, right. but it certainly is a great adjunct, and it's a way of going at things that is different than a lot of the, the sort of more mainstream things. You know, I've certainly had people come into the class who say, you know, I've been to group therapy, I've been to therapy, it's just not my thing. But this is something that really works for me. This sounds like a great idea, but what if you're not like a funny, person so stand-up comedy no it's not for everybody right the people who come to the course they basically self-select if someone wants to do the course I pretty much know they're the right person right <laughs> you know someone say was in a treatment center and they said okay next week we're starting on stand-up comedy <laughs> How terrifying would it, would, that be? Well, it would be terrible it would be yeah. it would be abusive really <laughs> so yeah it is for certain people and the people that it is for get a lot of benefit out of it. It's just, it's just still, still seems slightly weird, but I can see why it'd be so therapeutic. What kind of content are they writing? Like, what are, the, what are their jokes about? One of our comics, he was in psychosis and he thought he was Jesus, and the hospital had him rooming with a guy who thought he was Satan. <laughs> You cannot write comedy this good. <laughs> this is just beautiful. And I tell people, the crazier you are, the more dysfunctional you are, the better your act is going to be. So it creates a shift in terms of how they see their stuff. A lot of mental health programs, you go in because there's something wrong with you. In Stand Up For Mental Health, you go in because there's something right with you. Right, right. And I think that's just a really good therapeutic experience. Even though it's not labeled therapy, I don't think it has to be. We don't sit down and say, well, here are your goals for change. Let's see how we can get there. We just basically say, let's do some stand-up comedy. And we know people are going to change through that process. Hey, 
you're not saying that stand-up comedy is going to cure every mental health issue. I'm not saying it's going to cure any mental health issue. Right. Uh, what I'm what I am saying is that it'll give people more of a sense of confidence and more of a sense of mastery. So they can tackle their mental health issues. Yes. They can deal with them because they've got a bit better grasp on them now. Well, what I tell people sometimes is, because I, I always give them uh, DVDs of their shows. Right. And I say, you know, when you feel bummed out, play this DVD and look at what you've been able to do and figure that if you could do stand-up in front of 400 people, you can go to that job interview and ace it too. <laughs>